Welcome. My name is Jeremy O'Connell, and I am the lead developer or programmer for the Connect to SSH Bash Utility. In this video, I'm going to show you how you edit or update an account or username. Now, in previous videos, I've discussed how you enter servers, and servers are just more than an actual server. That's just a host, if you will. It's a server host node, so it could be to what we would consider a traditional server or to a piece of networking equipment like a switch, a router, a firewall, a NAS, a printer, whatever you can connect to using SSH. So you set up server entries to whatever equipment you need to connect to, and then you assign or set up accounts underneath those records. The actual accounts need to be set up on the boxes that connect to SSH doesn't set up accounts. The same is going to be true with editing an account. Now, if, for example, you have a server, a web server, and you change a username, you need to reflect that change in Connect to SSH. If it's just a, if you change something like a password or something like that, fine, whatever. But if you edit the account and username wise on the server, you need to reflect that and connect to SSH. But Connect to SSH isn't going to actually edit the username on the device itself, whether that's a router, a server, or whatever. So let's go update an account record. So I'm going to go back to my terminal, and I'm going to, first of all, list the accounts. So I'm going to issue LA for list accounts. The system is going to prompt us, do you, okay, I'll list the accounts, that's what it's saying. But would you rather have a text or an HTML list? I'm just gonna go with text for right now. And we'll see here that we have one account on the CentOS web server and one account on the FreeBSD development server. Now, once again, this doesn't mean this is all your accounts on the server. On the actual CentOS server, you could have 20 accounts because you might have nobody, you might have you know, an rsync user, whatever. These are just accounts that have been entered into the connect to SSH utility. That's it, that's all this refers to. So we have two accounts. We have one for the CentOS box or server in, or at least node. Could be a cloud server, doesn't actually have to be a box. Could be a VPS. And we have one for the FreeBSD development. And let's say we want to update the cent dev record. So we see here it's one. So we need to update that. So let's say we want to update that record. So let's go first of all, we're learning this. We need to know how to use this, so I'm going to type in help, as I've done in many videos, and we're going to say here, so I issued the connect to SSH and the help command, and we got this printout here. We want to update an account, or update an account. And you can see here we can type in update hyphen account, or use UA for short for update account. So I'm going to clear, and we will do connect to SSH, UA for update account, we hit enter, and now it's going to ask us, okay, it's going to say, I, you want me to update an account? Fair enough. First, we have to pick the server server the account is located on. So we can press any, we have to press any key to continue. So first of all, we have to pick how we want to, or next, I should say, because first it's just telling us. So the next step is how to load the server record, either by ID or name. So we're going to go ahead and select by ID. I know that the CentOS server is one, so I'm going to enter one. And now I enter the username, which is sent dev and hit enter and now we are editing the record for the sent dev so it says here editing sent dev on CentOS web server account name username or slash username sent dev so for for example if we change this to CentOS dev we could reflect that by saying CentOS dev update that then hit enter do we want to change the type now nah, we'll we'll leave it set the login type we'll just continue to use what what we have been using. Well, let's specify a remote directory. Instead, let's say go to home, CentOS dev slash, how about current work when we log in? Now, that's where we'll go because we want to add a remote directory. The mount point, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll also change the mount point. Why not? So we're going to edit the mount point to our liking, hit enter, and then the, the notes, eh, the notes are good. We're just going to leave them how they are. So then we're going to hit enter again, and now it's going to say, updating the following. It's going to tell us what we're going to be updating and show us the updated information. So you can see here now we have CentOS 
or CentOS dev instead of just Cent dev. We still have the same login type, we're still using that. We now have a remote directory and we have a mount point set. So then we have to enter, as it says here, type in yes to save or no to cancel. And it defaults to no to save your data. So it forces you to backspace type in yes if you want to update your data. If you typed in no, it will obviously not update it. But I'll go ahead and type in yes. So there we go. We've updated our record. It says success. CentOS dev updated on CentOS web server. So let me go ahead and clear. We'll run connect to SSH. We'll do an LA again to list accounts. List accounts. Yes, we want to use text. And I'll use text. And there we go. Now we have CentOS dev or CentOS dev instead of Cent dev. So we've updated our record. It's how easy and quick it is to update a record. And I'll see you in the next video.